It burnt the eggs a little bit, but I think I think we're gonna live. So about to pull up to the gym. It's like a little after four right now. So I did the basic, like basic morning routine. You guys seen it a thousand times. If you guys aren't new to the channel, you guys seen my breakfast, uh, the oatmeal, and the eggs, whatever. So running out of the house, it's four o'clock. We're gonna go hit the gym, obviously, and hit deadlifts. And something I've been really meaning to tell you guys, or explain more of, because you probably seen it and you guys don't know why. Uh, so I think the last three times, three deadlift sessions I've been hitting conventional and everyone knows that if you've been watching my channel that sumo is my stronger point where well, I can lift more weight with sumo but I just have like such a difficulty time like with form and something about it like lately ever since I've been in New Jersey I just it's just really frustrating with like my grip giving out it hitting my quads this and that so I've been really practicing conventional lately and I really just want to get better at that I think until I go back to South Carolina I'll start doing sumo again but like for now, like I'm having a really good fun time, like conventional. So I just said that. But um, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Uh, believe it or not, my hamstrings and glutes are a little bit sore still for my Monday squat sesh. And I think the reason for that is just simply because when I was at back in South Carolina for my leg days, my squat sessions, all I would do is uh squat and maybe like a killer drop set and that's it. But since I've been here, I'll hit my three heavy squat. Uh, fuck squat sets sets I'll do my drop sets and then I'll hit like front squat machine I'll hit leg press I hit my hamstring curls I do a whole lot like more volume afterwards and my legs are not used to that so it's like four or five days after my leg sesh and my legs are still like feeling a little bit so hopefully that doesn't impact my like conventional too too much today but like I'm super excited to like get into it I really want to like really get my conventional really strong because it was weak as shit like a few months ago so right now like I think two weeks ago I hit four or five at ten, so we're gonna have to top that somehow, shape or some way, shape or form today. So I'm super excited to pull up to the gym. I'm just pretty much rambling on right now, so I better go in, warm up, get all my stretches in, and all that basic shit. So let's do it. machines just get some blood flowing in the legs and like before I get into the actual deadlift warm up so let's do it. One of my favorite just because I feel so good on it. I'm not doing sumos, if you do sumos this is like a but I still like to do 
right before conventional or squats or anything like that. Two more leg warm ups, and then we'll get done. I'll probably do a few reps in the middle of the leg with squat extensions. Tight little situation over here, so we were out the most optimal place to start warming up. I need to start warming up. I'm gonna be all day, so. Thank you. Are you right? Alright, so we found this little secluded area right by the squat rack. It's the only thing we really have for right now. So I don't like the because it's a mirror. Fucking heck, I'm just sitting out here. But you gotta do what you gotta do. We don't really have an option right now. So 135, start warming up. Let's do this shit. So four plates on the bar. This is pretty much gonna determine whether I'm gonna go up or down. Probably gonna go up. Hopefully, it feels pretty quick. So let's just do it. Yeah, I fucking hit that thing. I guess this shit like ran me in my shin. <laughs> Did not see that coming. Pull a couple more reps. <laughs> Pretty good. Well, I have like four reps, and four reps counting that one trap that sucked and hit the stupid thing. All right, I'm gonna bump it up a little bit. Let's do it. So this feels. I wanna like see what I do wrong because like this is kind of heavy for me. Don't even know. Well, I noticed I noticed on your last set that you were a little bit close to the bar. All right. In the sense of look, you were. I saw you get a position, the bar, the bar rolled on you, the bar moved on you. You don't really want that. You want basically, you want to be far enough to the bar, that would be a bend down. Almost just like, let's say if you're about to jump, would you want to jump in, in a position like this? Yeah. You really want that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you get that I see what you're saying, I didn't yeah. really get it before. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so basically, everything else looked perfect. Okay. You listen to the yeah. lockout, I saw that, you pulled it easy, you pulled it easy. You would be able to pull it even easier. You got just about right here. 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 Lock. Down. So I have like really, like I'm off, off, the, like off the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this I mean, dude, I mean, you know what? You weren't really too off from, for being that close. Your leverage is pretty good, so it's just about really getting to the most optimal position, you know? You can pull it to clean this without any form breakdown or anything like that, so. Yeah, so I'd love to be able to just eat, just, just 500 for me would be huge. Yeah. For a conventional, like I would love to be able to pull 500. Yeah. I've done 405 for 10. Yeah. I can hit like high reps, but like when it comes to heavy weight, getting it off the ground, it's so hard for me, I don't yeah. know why. What was the last thing you pulled, 495? 495? Yeah, what, what'd you pull the set, the last set where it bounced off the, the, the model? That's, that's 405. Oh, yeah, that, that moves so easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, 500, it's there for you, it's just all about the form now. Yeah, you know? it's form. Yeah. A lot of my shoes. All right, let's see. Blocked. Explode. Drive it. 
You think my back's too Yeah, huh? yeah, look at you like more than that. Yeah. Yeah, I was well, I want to see what I'm capable of. Right? Yeah. So I never really got to be honest, like, I never really got taught proper form and you're like helping yeah. me out big time. Appreciate it. No problem, dude. You see how those little things make a big difference, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Good, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So you think I got five hundred? Uh well, you wanna hit that now? I don't know. Yeah, you look like you had dude, no shit like you had like two more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I should just fuck around with this weight, maybe. Maybe set the two. You want to be sad? Fucking go for it. Fuck it, I don't even care. Whatever. I'll go for it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Hit it, come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Go drive, drive, uh, drive, uh, drive, uh, drive me! Uh, lock uh, it up, lock it up! Yeah! What the fuck? That was easy as shit. You know what? Yeah, See? nah, I hit me. Yep. Oh, I didn't hit the ammonia? Yeah, I hit me. <laughs> yep. I'm surprised you're not crying. Really? But that felt good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, basically, it was an impossible PR that I would never imagine I'm hitting this soon. Practicing conventional, and basically what happened is the homie over there hooked it up. He gave me some tip corners and ammonia packet to get me hyped up for 500 or 495 technically for a deadlift conventional. Like that's huge for me. Uh, I never even like imagined like getting that up today, walking into the gym. But it was like the simplest things that he pointed out for my form that made made it everything so much different and made everything so much like more. Uh, to lift so much more fluid, like it was just, just the smallest things, literally in the form. So right now, uh, I dropped to the 425. I'm gonna do three sets to 68, and then do one drop set, and then get on to the accessories. Uh, I've been in the gym for a while already, and I really haven't got a lot done because he was he was teaching me a lot of stuff. So I'm not complaining at all. It's honestly, it's a great day to be alive. I'm really happy. Right now. So let's get this first set in. Do it.
Oh, so I wanted to do that then. So we hit Apple later. So I'm going to do three sets of 10. Wait a bowl for the 20 pound dumbbell. And add the end. So we'll add that for the end. Let's do it. Alright, so real quick. Last workout because I'm pretty beat right now. I'm doing third, this is my third set, honestly. Third set, cable. Oh, damn, close grip rows. I'm gonna super set it with the abs. Do three sets of that. Then I get my cardio in and we're out. So let's do it. Just left the gym, hit my cardio. Did a, a lot less uh, hypertrophy than I, I usually would have. But like today was honestly crazy insane. Like it, it was such a great day to be in the gym. Uh, what was that kid? I always forget his name. Oh, Reed is the homie, bro. Like so, he's like a big powerlifter. He's literally younger than me, and he hooked it up with the, such basic tips. And the nicest dude in the world. Uh, he's probably not gonna watch this video. He doesn't know my YouTube, but uh, the, he hooked it up. He really got me into the deadlifting conventional like um he hooked it up like i got 500 or 495 technically which is a huge pr for me uh especially conventional like i literally think thought that would be impossible for that for this day to have me pulled that like it was just insane uh even when i dropped it 425 for uh two sets of six and then four or five almost matching 10 which i thought was a huge pr two weeks ago and on my being my fourth working set like that's I don't know. It was it was it was a huge day. Like it was crazy. And then the sniffing ammonia, like something I'd never done. I always kind of wanted to experience. Like that was pretty cool. Uh, it wasn't as hard as I expected, but that shit had me wired. Like to the point where like I kind of like I don't even remember pulling the first half of 500. Like it it was sick. So it was a great experience. He hooked it up. Like the vibe was like, the vibe was great. Like him and his other homie was there, like hyping me up, helping me out. Like the nicest people in the world. Like it was just an it was just a great sesh. Like a great overall sesh. Um, spent a whole shit ton of time there. It's already seven o'clock now, just leaving the gym. Uh, the battery's literally dying right now, so hopefully it doesn't cut out. But heading back now, but edit this video. I'm gonna end the video right here. Um, if you have any questions or anything I did do today in the gym that I didn't mention, uh, feel free to ask as always, suggestions for future videos. Anything. All right, so as I was saying, the video literally cut out. The battery did die like I was pretty much expecting it to. But basically what I was saying, like, give me any feedback on the comment se uh, section below. Like, I always love hearing what you guys have to say. Whether it just be, you know, s just give me, just say whatever you want to say. Like, just give me feedback. I love hearing, like, who's watching and uh, suggestions and all that good shit. Um, I lost my train of thought a little bit. But you get what I'm saying. Um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys are new, please subscribe. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, my protein link in the description as always go check out the site support your boy uh, I say it all the time at the end of the video. So if you make it so uh, I don't really know who hears it But either way guys, I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one